Hey guys, this is Agostino, and I'm new to the tutorial. So, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to get the Android lock screen for your iDevice. device. I'm gonna be using an iPod for this video, the one without the camera, so it's pretty old, so it's gonna be kind of slow. So, but the you only know, iPod I have available, like I can use right now. So, first of all, you're gonna need Cydia. You're gonna go to Manage, and you're gonna go to Sources, and you're gonna add Cydia dot iPhone dot com. Let me see if you try to focus on it here. Right there, that's what it looks like with the home that says have an iPhone team above it. So you're going to want to click on that. We'll first add it, then click on it. Well, instead, if you click on it, you have to look for Android Lock, but I already have it typed in, so let's go to that. Android Lock, the first one actually. I already have it downloaded, so we'll say modify. So once you have it downloaded, it'll reboot your device, or reboot your springboard. So you're going to, want, to want to go to settings. Go down to the bottom and then say Android Lock. And for the old oh, for the iPods, it's shorter. It only says change pattern and donate. So this is my pattern. Oh, it's being kind of buggy right now. But sometimes kind of buggy. So you just type in your new pattern. And yes, um. But for my iPhone, I have the, I'm using recording with my iPhone right now, and since it's jailbroken, it has a whole bunch of more options for the Android lock screen. Like you can change like the look of it and everything. So I'll put some pictures to it at the end of the video, so then you can see what it looks like if you jailbreak it on a phone. And I'm not sure if it's kind of being kind of buggy right now, so I'll show you how to get out of it if it bugs out. So this is my password right here, just the box. And it's not picking up. So to fix this. You're gonna want to turn it your device off and turn it back on, but make sure before you turn it off, make sure you have another passcode like the number code enabled, so then you have two passcodes at one time. So, and it's just gonna take a little while to turn off, so and get back on. So once it turns off, you're gonna to want to turn it back on, and the passcode with numbers will pop up first. So you just type that in, and you should be on your phone again to. Disable the Android lock screen in case it bugs out. So, wait for it to blow back up. Kind of slow. This jailbreak I'm using is untethered, and since it's got like that line, I'm not sure what it's called, like right there. That's because it's jailbroken, if you're wondering. And in the future on tutorial, so I'm going to be doing gaming videos about like. Modern Warfare 3 when it comes out, Battlefield 3, all types of games, Sandra the Third, and I'm going to the Modern Warfare 3 Midnight release. So I'll be uploading videos really late at night with my HD PVR I'm getting in a couple of days. So see, it popped up first, the number one. So you type it in. This is my sister's iPod, so it's got like the girl in the background, just if you're wondering. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll put some pictures after I'm done talking about the um, more advanced version of this so you'll have more choices and I'll show it all at the end of the video so bye